want to share this heartwarming story about a community that came together to help this little girl diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor. This is Emma Mertens. She was diagnosed with a rare condition in January, and she only had one request, and that was to have pictures sent to her house of dogs that she could look at. Now, Emma has always loved dogs, but has been unable to have her own because her family was super allergic to canines. Emma got more than 200,000 responses uh, in pictures and letters um, and stuffed animals, well wishes uh, from all over the map. Now, Emma's dog, uh, dad, Jeff, told the Tribune, we literally feel like the whole world is rallying around her. Oh, whoops, which way am I going here? Okay, around here. Now, not only was that so cool for her, but she got to go to a local animal clinic and was given the experience of her life. She will never forget it. Emma was given a day of helping out at the vet clinic. She had her own clipboard, stethoscope, and even a lab coat with her name on it. She had hands-on all the way as she helped check dogs' teeth, their paws, and was able to take pictures with them. Now, she was able to love on them and help them in and out of the vet clinic. And last but not least, she was able to listen to their hearts to make sure they were in top condition. This was all a huge thrill for her, as you can imagine, and for her parents, for sure. Now, last week, nearly 40 police departments stopped by Emma's house with more than 35 canine dogs in tow. With all of this outpouring of love and humanity, Emma's parents are staying very optimistic, saying it's giving them ideas on how to pay it forward. God has picked us for a reason. I feel it's because we can handle it and we can beat this, says Emma's father, Jeff, on Facebook. This is what he had to say. Well, there's a lot of really kind people out there and that's exactly the type of person Emma is. She wants nothing more than just for people to be kind to each other, not just her. It's not about her. She wants nothing more than other people to just be kind to other complete strangers too. If it takes us going through this horrible issue right now with our daughter's health, then so be it. But if everyone could just pause and be kinder to each other in all situations, this world could be a really, really incredible place to live. I really love the story of people having empathy for one, one another um, and reaching out to make their lives better. The people who show up for this kind of endeavor are people who have realized that life is better when you give back, that we're stronger together, and that we all share the same basic needs to be valued, loved, appreciated, and respected. When we offer selfless acts of kindness, we feel good, and the person we have helped is offered hope and a powerful uh, boost of confidence. I wish the Mertens well. And in the words of Roy Clark, let us all go out and do good for somebody today. Don't wait around for a thank you because you don't need one. Let's start a chain of random acts of kindness. And that's my Positively Kelly for today. Jer? You are late every time on the set. I, I don't see your script. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's all good. So, yeah, and you know what's weird is Lyra was here, our confidence coach, yesterday, yes. and, and this really followed up with what she said, mm -hmm. uh, talking about um, being able to uh, compliment people and give good and lift people's spirits and that sort of thing. And, of course, this little girl has got a lot of trauma in her life, yeah. and her parents, too. I can't imagine being the parents of a child like that. Absolutely. And uh, kindness mm -hmm. does go a long way. And I think the hardest part for some people, including myself, mm -hmm. is you when they say, love your enemy, uh -huh. love your neighbor, even if you have a problem. So it's, it's, if you can forgive and or uplift even somebody who you don't get along with, right. guess who that helps? It helps yourself and your spirit and your soul. Well, And it's absolutely. helping the relationship. So I think that's absolutely. amazing. And that's what we're told to do. We're told mm -hmm. to, to pray for our enemies and do good to people who uh, use you and are not good to you. And yeah. so that's what we're told to do. And I think that we're always blessed if we do that. But um, even people you just don't know. Yeah. I mean, you know, like I say. It's better with strangers, I think, too. Because yeah. it just lets, you know, that good positive vibe come off of you. Yeah. And you never know where that stranger is going to go and transfer it to somebody else. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know what kind of day somebody's had. So if you can help Help them out in some way. Um, it's always a great thing. It is. It's, yes. Encouragement and positivity. Because Kelly, we like to keep it light and local. <laughs> light and local. Yes, That's right. We do. All right. Coming up, it is TV trivia time with your host Jeremy Ray. Don't go anywhere. I don't know what we're doing today. We'll see how it goes. Well, you know, Come I wish back. I had is that long, skinny mic like Bob Barker used oh, to yes. have. Oh yeah. I bet we could get you. One. I want a long, skinny mic with a little.